If you constantly find yourself updating project statuses, tagging team members to review tasks, or setting up reminders to Slack, you can free up your time and put project management on autopilot with database automations. In this video, we'll show you how to create customized database automations that can change your project or task status, reassign task owners, update entries in a related database, send Slack notifications, and much more. Before we start, just note that this feature is exclusive to certain plan types. You can learn more at notion.com slash pricing. You can use the lightning bolt icon at the top right of any database to see if you have it. Database automations are sequences of actions that happen anytime a specific change to a database page occurs. An automation consists of two parts. The first one we call a trigger. It's what sets off the entire automation process. And the second one is an action. It's what happens automatically after the trigger occurs. In other words, an automation consists of saying, when any of these triggers occur, do this action or series of actions. A trigger can take many shapes or forms. It may be when a page gets added to the database or when a property on a page gets edited. When a trigger fires, you could decide on the following actions. Either send a notification to Slack, make new edits to a page property, add a page to another database, edit pages in another database, or any combination of the above. Here's how to create a database automation in a few simple steps. We'll start with our tasks database. While you can create automations in any Notion database, they're uniquely powerful in helping you manage your projects and tasks. To create an automation, you can either go to the options menu and select automations, or simply click on the lightning bolt icon. All your automations will show up here. But since we don't have any yet, Let's go ahead and click New Automation to create one. You can name your automation. We'll call this one QA Flow, and then start selecting triggers and actions. You'll see a drop down menu next to Four Pages In. This lets you choose whether you want your automation to apply to all pages in this database or only pages that appear in one of your saved filtered views. Note that if you or someone else adjust the filters in a saved view, that will affect the pages your automation applies to. In this case, we want our automation to apply to any page in the tasks database. In this example, whenever a page's status changes to ready for QA, we want to automatically assign the page to Santiago, our QA engineer. To do this, we'll click Add Trigger. In the dropdown, let's select Status and only pick the Ready for QA option. When you're ready, hit Done. Great! Now, whenever this trigger occurs in a page, we'll want to assign it to our QA engineer. Let's click Add Action, then hit the Assignee property. Now, we can look up Santiago's name in the search bar and click on it when it shows up, like so. Again, click Done. Lovely! The last step is to click on the blue Create button to save the automation. Now, when a page's status is set to Ready for QA, the Assignee property will automatically feature Santiago's name. Super! Note that you can expect the same result when someone adds a new page to the database and marks it as ready for QA. Now, if you are a project manager, here's an automation for you. Here, we're going to create a kickoff workflow. Whenever a project status is changed to up next, we want to automatically create a project kickoff meeting at our meeting notes database, as well as send a notification to Slack. Let's click on new automation and call this one project kickoff. This time, the trigger event will be the status property being changed to up next. Now in the actions menu, we'll select add page to and find our company's meeting notes database. Let's call the new page that is being created project kickoff. We can set the meeting type to project kickoff. Next, let's click on the plus sign to add another action. Let's also send the Slack notification to the product channel of our Slack workspace to notify others of the new project being tackled. Again, hit Create to save the automation. Great, let's give our new automation a try. When the page's status is changed to Up Next, a new project kickoff meeting is created in our meeting notes database, and the product team will get notified of this change in our product channel in Slack. Now, keep in mind that when an automation contains a Slack action, such an action can only be edited by the person who created the notification in the first place. On the other hand, 
any automations regarding the page's status can be created, edited, deleted, disabled, and enabled by anyone with full access to the database in question. Which brings us to our last point. To keep an automation active, leave its blue toggle on. But you can also decide to pause it, in which case you'll just have to untoggle. You can do this as many times as you please. As you can see, Notion's database automations take just a minute or two to set up and can save you a ton of time, as well as make sure no important updates fall through the cracks. Instead of worrying about maintaining your projects and tasks databases and constantly notifying your team members about changes, you can get on with work that matters most. Thank you.